Hello for those who are new to the channel. Welcome to the TechBit channel. And for those who are returning, welcome back. Today's video will be focused on PG Vector and Vector Similarity Search with PLPG SQL. The goal of this video is to equip you with the knowledge and skills to leverage PG Vector effectively in your projects, enhancing search capabilities and improving recommendation functionalities. Whether you're a database administrator, developer, or data scientist, you'll gain valuable insights into this cutting edge technology and its practical applications. Let's go ahead and get started. PG Vector is an extension for PostgreSQL that's designed for efficient similarity searches on high dimensional data. Today, we'll explore how it can be used to enhance various applications. In modern tech, vector similarity search is crucial for tasks like recommendation systems, image recognition, and natural language processing. It helps find similarities between items based on their vector representations. Throughout this session, we'll cover essential topics, setting up the environment, PLPG SQL implementations, and core concepts of vector similarity search. By the end, you'll have a solid grasp of applying PG vector in real world scenarios to improve search and recommendation functionalities. Before diving into PG vector, it's essential to set up the right environment. PostgreSQL 11 or later is needed for its database capabilities. You must install the PG vector extension within PostgreSQL to leverage its vector related functions. Setting up PG vector involves downloading its source, compiling it, and integrating it with PostgreSQL. This process can vary by operating system itself. Proper setup ensures smooth execution of examples and applications, minimizing compatibility issues. Let's start with the implementation of vector similarity search using P the generate mock embedding v2's function simulates embedding generation. The insert items v2 function inserts data which is critical for our demo. The similarity search v2 function performs the similarity search. Last but not least, the run vector v2 function contains the entire process. Keep in mind, we will be creating the database, its connection, and defining all of these other helpful functions as mentioned. And then we're going to be moving into generating embeddings. Embeddings will be generated, data will be inserted, and the similarity search will be performed. Let's go ahead and get a better understanding of vector embeddings. Vector embeddings are numeric representations of data in high dimensional space, capturing semantic meanings. They encode complex relationships between data points, crucial for understanding similarities that raw data might miss. Applications span text, images, audio, and other user behavior, each benefiting from embeddings tailored to specific data types. Choosing the right embedding model significantly impacts search quality and application performance. Similarity search finds items resembling a query item in vector space capturing semantic meanings. They encode complex relationships between data point, crucial for understanding similarities that raw data might miss. Applications span text. Similarity search finds items resembling a query item in vector space, governed by distance metrics. Key metrics include Euclidean distance, measuring direct distance, and cosine similarity focusing on vector direction. Cosine similarity suits text of varying length, emphasizing directional similarities over magnitudes. Selecting metrics impact search accuracy, tailoring to each application's unique requirements. The uses of vector similarity encompass semantic search, expanding beyond keywords to conceptually similar items. Recommendation systems use similarity to suggest items based on user preferences, enhancing user experience. Image similarity leverages vector embeddings for reverse image search, product similarity, and more. Anomaly detection identifies unusual data points, critical for fraud detection and monitoring a system. Applications span diverse domains, inviting attendees to explore vectors' potential in their projects. That's it, let's go ahead and take a look at the demo. I'm going to go ahead 
and click on MySQL file. It is available on the GitHub repository in the comments below. And let's take a look at the code. First, I'm going to go ahead and create and connect the database. After, I'm going to create the extension, drop the table if it exists, create it, and then I'm going to have a few functions here. The first one is to generate the mock data, and I'm going to proceed and insert data. Well, it'll be followed by the similarity search. This is really where all the magic happens with the embeddings. You'll be able to play with this later on. Then we have where the entire process really happens. That's where this function called run vector demo two, it takes your parameters, you notice. And here I have a few other different variables for different kinds of text. Notice we are inserting text here, different types. And this is what we're going to use. This is just a demo, just to showcase the ability. Here. It could be improved to a lot bigger degree. So let's go into our terminal and let's execute under a specific user under psql, the file that we're editing now called vector underscore search sql. I'm going to go ahead and first comment out and recomment. And we're going to do a search based on this text called what did the fox jump? Execute it. First time I get authenticated. Notice here's my original query and it's similarity search. So notice. There wasn't really much a really good search there. This, it really came on on second. Okay, not to be discouraged, just to showcase that similarity really does count heavily when you're searching in this minute. So now I'm searching on the brown fox and we get another hit here. Here's our original. It got second one. Nothing wrong. We're going to try another text here. And this one is, what is the meaning of life? Notice. Now we're going to get a little bit more in the nitty gritty here. We're going to be a little bit more accurate in certain items and we will be getting more accurate there. And that happens. Oops, I made a mistake here. So I'm going to modify it and try this again. Here we go. How many miles? Similar content. Gives you the weights here. That's really what the biggest part is. Last but not least, we're going to work with the thousand miles. You get a thousand miles, certain items. Notice you can accomplish the same in PSQL. In a previous video, we used Python. Depends on what your preferences are. So feel free, download the code, play with it. We encourage you to do so. So in conclusion, the key insights of today are that we have set up PG vector implemented a PLPG SQL solution, have gotten a better understanding of embeddings and along with similarity concepts. We've also looked into how PG Vector empowers high dimensional data handling. It has a searches and recommendation systems as well. And last but not least, we encourage you to further explore experimenting with models, metrics, scaling for performance and integrating into existing applications. Go ahead and embrace PG Vector's search similarities potential because they will enrich your search quality and your user interactions as well. Thank you for signaling to the end of the video. We invite you to like, subscribe, and share across. That way we can keep the conversation going and make it more engaging. See you on the next video. Thanks.